We're both wearing black for match. I know. We're, we look like Sephora. Like oh my Sephora god, we look like we look <laughs> like Sephora. <laughs> hey guys. I'm so weird. Welcome back okay. to my channel. Today we have a very special guest, okay. Hannah, known as Hannah Clams. Clams? Yeah, clams. Hannah clams, clams on YouTube. Today we're just filming a really different video on my channel. For we're gonna you go, especially. Yeah. We're gonna go a little bit deep and personal-ish a little bit, just a little bit today. We're going to talk about how to be confident and how to be comfortable with yourself. And I kind of thought it was relatable for my channel as well as Hannah's because there's more to make up. The soul, guys, the soul. Yeah. You can make up your face, but you can't make up your soul. We're here to help you kind make, of yeah. make your soul. Yeah, while, <laughs> while we also figure out our souls. Yeah, we're right? all having a reflective, yeah. nice moment here. Mm -hmm. We figured, that the key to feeling confident with yourself is to really reflect on your relationship with yourself mm -hmm. as well as your relationship with others. So on my channel here, we're gonna do three points and those are gonna be related to the relationship with yourself and the other three points are gonna be on Hannah's channel where we talk about relationship with others and how that can help you feel confident. For sure. Subscribe to both channels. Oh yeah. What are you waiting for? Especially cause hey, we're small YouTubers guys. Hey, we might be poor and bank account, but we're rich in spirit and, and personality. Soul. And if you don't agree, then uh, goodbye. All right. Yes. First point. <laughs> Focus on the things that you love about what was this? Love about yourself. <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> it's true though. Because you hear this everywhere. People are just like, oh, just love yourself and it'll be okay. Really, the root of finding your inner confidence, because confidence doesn't start with how you look. Right. It starts with how you feel. In order to be confident about how you feel, you have to love yourself. You have to know your strengths and you have to be able to be stable enough to know that no matter what other people do to shake you or try to change your opinions, like, you know who you are at your core. A lot of things in life, we tend to focus more on the negatives mm -hmm. more than the positives. Especially with relationships with people, we always say, okay, they didn't do this for me, wow, they suck. But in reality, okay, but that person probably has done things for you in the past and you just for don't sure. remember them. Exactly. Same things with yourself. There's definitely way more things that you probably love about yourself that you're not aware of just because you see the little flaws and the little things that you yeah. don't like. Yeah. So like for me, something I struggled with a lot, I have uneven eyelids. My right cheek is a little bit bigger than my left cheek, especially when I started filming I noticed that but I noticed that I have pretty good eyebrows like I have pretty full eyebrows naturally agree um, I have pretty long eyelashes mm. Naturally, Those are your na no, no, they're not. I was going to say I was like what kind of Asian? <laughs> I think I have a pretty nice smile Oh, yeah, and so I think you just got to really focus on the things that you love about yourself and You do have because we all have the good attributes. Yeah, everyone has good. Yeah, attributes. no matter no matter what and not fixating on the negative yes is the first step to feel confident number two don't be afraid to, to be, be you, you. <laughs> not anyone else not Jamie not Hannah clams everything that we say is going to sound really cliche yeah. and so much easier said than done but that's the beauty of it for me this is definitely something that I struggled with for the longest time so this is where it gets a little personal I guess mm. a little bit people have this perception of me my friends who are watching right now and my haters whoever's watching a lot of you guys think that I'm so popular. I have so many friends, but in reality, I don't have friends. I, I have friends, but I don't have real friends around me. When I was going through those times where everyone thought I was popular, whatever, I didn't know who I was, so I was really confused as to how to be me. I was afraid to be that person because I had to keep up this image of the popular Jamie Park. The Jamie Park. And as it's so you tiring. Guys call it. Yeah. It's so freaking tiring. Um, it's so hard to be yourself when people don't see you for who you the are. way you see you. So when you get to the room at the end of the night and like you, you just deal with your thoughts and like you know who you are. Yeah. But you feel like what you're projecting is not that person. And guys, that's like the most tiring way to live. It is just the worst. Because you constantly feel like you're competing against yourself. And it's so freaking exhausting. I mean, so I was afraid to be myself because I thought that people wouldn't like me for who I was but I realized when I was faking it and mm. when I was faking and being the Jamie Park that everyone wanted me to be that's when I had a lot of fake relationships formed but once I started being more of myself my true self people who like you will really stay and genuinely be around you for sure. and that's hundred percent and when you have those people around you is when you start to grow and mm. you start to become more comfortable with yourself because the people around you are 
accepting of you. One thing I really wanted to mention specifically about this point is that when you really embrace who you are, it is the most freeing, liberating experience because for the longest time, I felt like to me, Hannah was like super serious. Like had to be professional, had to be like dressed up and like, don't get me wrong, I still like to dress up, I still like to wear makeup. You know, it's not like I'm just all about this and it's like, that's what matters. At heart, I'm really weird. I'm super quirky and like, I just love making people laugh. But like, I like make fun of myself in the sense where I'm just like, Whoa! like really weird. And to some people it's just like, what the heck, right? Yeah. But for me, that's who I am. Yeah. And so like, yeah, of course, like you, you tone it down in certain areas, but at the same time, like your true friends will love that part about you. And if anything, it'll just bring out a side of them that they like yeah. too. If you don't know who you are yet, That's definitely, fine, yeah, exactly. Just take some time to do soul searching and just think about what it is that makes you different from other people. Right, and it doesn't mean that you have to know who you are to be yeah. you, so. Okay, so don't be afraid to be you. Okay, so next, number three, look good, feel good. It's true. Honestly, this is the easiest way you'll feel confident and yeah. feel good. If you roll out of bed and you're thinking <laughs> like, okay, I'm gonna have a crabby day today, mm. most likely you will mm -hmm. because you're setting yourself up for a crabby day. Right, you're planting that seed. Usually me, especially when I wake up and I feel like crap, I can literally feel like that one minute, but I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna put on makeup. Once I just even put on my mascara and concealer, I feel 10 times better than I do. Like, yeah. And that doesn't mean I'm not comfortable with no makeup on. Right. I am 100% comfortable with no makeup on, but I just feel like when you look good in your eyes, like better, then yeah. you just feel so much mm -hmm. better. What we were talking about also is like, it doesn't have to fit in with like society's looking good. What I'm trying to say is like, you don't need to look sexy, look hot. It's just literally whatever you think looks good on you will make you feel good. For sure. Cause when you feel good, it's just something about that. You're like the best version of yourself. Hey, I'm presenting my best self to the world. And so in turn, I feel more confident because yeah. I know that this is my best self. When you look good, you do feel good. Yeah, and I seriously believe that that's easiest ways, sure. easiest ways you'll feel good about yourself. So another point that I want to mention is if you guys are unfamiliar with my story, I gained 70 pounds. So there was a point in time about four years ago now, in 2013, I competed for Miss New Jersey. Back then, I was, from how I look right now, I was 60 pounds thinner. 60 pounds, all right, that's, I'm five foot eight, so like it, it doesn't look as much as it would if someone was shorter, but like if you look at pictures, you can totally tell I was like really gaunt. It's kind of scary actually. Mm. Like you could see my backbone, it was just no, mm. no, no, no. But even then, at my thinnest, I didn't feel good on the inside. Mm -hmm. So pictures might make it look like, oh wow, like, you know, she looks so professional. Yeah. She was like working at Fox News. Like mm -hmm. she looked like she had it together. No, I can tell you right now that the person I am today, I actually feel a lot more at peace with myself because I'm more of myself. Mm -hmm. And even with my curvier figure now, even as I'm trying to lose weight and I want to get to a certain goal, I'm embracing where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Also, what I want to say was, so for me, like sometimes I put too much makeup on. My mom will be like, that's too much, you look bad. At first it kind of bothered me. Yeah, but you'd be like, oh wait, does it? Yeah, but then like later on I realized, you know what, it doesn't matter what people think. If mm. you think you look good, Rock you will it. genuinely feel good. And then if you're confident, people can just see that. So they don't even see, the, the oh, it looks bad. Yeah. yeah, like they're just gonna be like, oh, she's killing it. You just fake it till you make it. It. Yeah, and then at some point you just you feel good about yourself and you just walk out in public and you're just like hey world This is me. Uh-huh. Love me. Yeah, for real. Love us. We're lovable. And we, we really are we're very lovable. Those were the three points for my video just to recap focus on the things that you love about yourself Don't be afraid <laughs> to be you look good feel good mm -hmm. Mm. All right guys, tune in to part two, my channel. Literally click the link below. Put a card, I'll also put it in the description box. Definitely check out part two where we talk sure. more about the relationships with others that helps you feel more confident yeah. in yourself. I hope you guys really enjoyed getting to know me a little more personal and then getting to know Hannah. For sure. Um, if you didn't know her already. Follow her on YouTube, subscribe to her channel, subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video if you like Give these support, deep guys. talks. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, we can definitely answer them down below. If you yeah. have any comments, we'll respond. That is it for my video. I'll see you guys on my channel. See you guys on her channel. Whoa, what was that noise? <laughs> that, was a, that was a dope tongue yeah. Bye. Bye. So, oh, hot. Do you see those imperfections?
<laughs> Rawr. Joby, say hi. Can I be in Jamie's video? Hi. Can you look at the lens? <gasps> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Should I do it again? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. <laughs> like, wait, we're starting? <laughs> oh, right, oh you didn't post yet? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is hot. We look great. We look. Uh, we so pretty. Hey, if you're a guy and you say no, don't. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.